Ryan, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. Last night, we saw Shakur Stevenson. Everybody saw you tweeting, basically, man, wake me up when this is over with. That Give us your uh, talk uh, you to know, us about, he, about last night and no, what disappointed you the most. No, with, with him, it's not even about like I don't I don't really get like too ticked off too many people, but he does talk like really arrogant shit. And he is a little bit like that in person, you know, ever since amateurs just just walking around like, you know, his shit don't stink and it pisses me off. Like I was in Vegas one day talking to his friend Keyshawn. We were having a great time, great conversation. I simply said, hey, yo, Shakur, come over, blah, blah, blah. He goes, just looks at me and goes, nah, you got to come over here. Like some arrogant shit. I'm like, bro, what is that? Like, I'm like, we're all, we're all on this journey together. We're all just trying to, you know, figure shit out. You know, it's just like, you don't got to act like that, bro. Like, we already know how this game goes. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be, you know, who's cooler, who's not, you know, so it pissed me off. So that probably gave me, like, a little bit more motivation to kind of, like, you know, you know, you know, throw a little tweet out there. But, honestly, he didn't fight good at all. He was scared. He didn't fight. He, 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 and the, it's so biased. That commentary is disgusting. I was disgusted by the commentary. Oh, if – Shakur don't throw a lot of punches. He's controlling the fight. If somebody else don't throw a lot of punches, it's, oh, man, he's reluctant. Oh, he's hesitant. It, it's just so biased. Like, I can't even watch ESPN fights no more. I, I really can't. It, it's so disgusting. At least on the zone, at least they keep it real. They don't keep it real on, on, on ESPN. They just, oh, I'm like, oh, my God. This, this is almost unwatchable. I, I might want to put on mute. And I like Timothy Bradley. I grew up with him. But his commentary, man, you gotta be, you gotta be real, man. You you can't be like that, you know. You, you just it's not good for boxing, it, you know. You gotta bring Jack back, Jim Lampley and Larry Merchant. Oh, well, Larry Merchant is a little bit, he, he's out there. Too. <laughs> he used to talk shit about Floyd all the time. But Jim Lampley, Roy Jones Jr., man, I miss those guys, man. I'm tired of hearing these other dudes, man. It, it's horrible. It's really horrible. Like I don't I, ask the public, ask the public how bad that commentary is. It is disgusting. It literally makes your stomach turn. I had to turn it off. What did you think about Mario Navaretti? And the and Emmanuel, Oh man, that was a banger. Oh my gosh. I was like, dang, Navarrete. I thought Navarrete won. He was looking nice. Um, he got a weird style, but man, he he he's he's something. You know, I, I like he knows what he's doing. That's what I like about him. You know, that everybody's trying to figure out like what he does wrong or not. He knows what he's doing. He's staying relaxed. He's staying in control of himself, and he gets to what he got to get to. Um, Robinson, man, what was his name? I forgot. Con yeah, Conseco. Robinson Concepcion. Yeah, he, man, he he got so much heart, man. He, he fought his ass off, man. Those first four rounds, he, he was blowing Navarrete at the water, and he got dropped. But, man, he showed so much heart. Um, I would edge it out to Navarrete, but it, it was one hell of a fight. When we started talking about – Ryan Garcia, as far as you go, you already fought Tank, um, who widely is considered as the, the best in that little area. Um, given Shakur's performance last night, would you be into or open to a matchup with Shakur Stevenson? You know, I'm not worried about, um, you know, worrying about who's going to fight who and, and, you know, how that's going to go. I'm worried about me. You know, I want to get my rematch. I want to get that run back uh, at this weight, at the right weight. He knows that it wasn't who I really was. And I don't care what anybody says. That's not me. I don't fight like that. And I'm way better than that. And I'm better than him. I don't care if he beat me, but I'm better than him. Give me my rematch and I'll beat him. But it's fine. I'm going to build myself up again. I'm going to keep winning. And if I got to go through a tough Fima Lopez or Devin Haney to get that, I'm going to do it. But I need my rematch because he's not better than me. I don't care. I don't care what happens. I don't care. I'm better than him. I could beat him. And uh, I just got to prove myself for now. Uh, and I like this position. I'm going to earn my stripes. I'm not going to take time off. After I go through Dorte, I'm going to go right back in February, March. And I'm going to go right back. And whoever, I don't care whoever, 140, that's going to be my weight class, 140, 147. And I'm taking both of those, both of them, 140 and 147. Anybody, 140 or 147, uh, whoever wants it. So, Let's run it. Ryan, uh, my last thing here. Week after your fight, Devin Haney, Regis Progress, San Francisco, California. 
140 pound crown, Regis's 140 pound crown. Uh, how do you see that fight going? Who do you give the edge to early? Uh, you got to give the edge to Devin Haney, a uh, pure boxer. Uh, throws a lot, a lot more punches than, and then like say a Shakur Stevenson, and, and like you know, just knows what he's doing in there. I, I like his, I like his game, and I think that his game is going to be just too much for uh, Regis. I think that Regis got a puncher's chance. Don't get me wrong. I think he just don't have enough experience. Started the game late, um, and just kind of like he fights uh, like lethargic almost, and gets hit with some good shots, um, and just. I don't know. I just don't think he's sharp enough to beat Devin Amy. Lastly, for me, Saudi looks like the new destination for boxing, Ryan. Can you see yourself fighting in Saudi Arabia here in the future? You know, I'm open to anything. You know, um, a lot of these boxers gain some big, big paydays. But to me, it's just about throwing great events, you know, wherever it's going to be at Vegas, Saudi Arabia, wherever, you know, I could bring joy to people is what I want to do. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. If Saudi Arabia want to give me a lot of money, I'll do it. But it has to be a fight that is going to be entertaining for people, you know, and, and, and something that, you know, makes sense. But, yeah, that's cool. I've never been there. Um, I, but I, I see that everybody's saying great things about it. Like, it's so nice. And, you know, everybody's so kind. And, you know, they talk about the money a lot. But, I mean, it's not really about the money. Look how generous these people are. You know, they're 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 giving away Rolexes and, and cars and stuff. You know, to me that's like, dang, that's cool. But I know they have a lot of money, but that's still pretty generous of generous type of people. I got a picture that you posted online the other day, bro. Absolutely chiseled. You're usually <laughs> in excellent shape anyway. Um tell us about camp with Derek James. How have things been? Uh, and where do you expect him to go on the second? Well, yeah, this camp's just been um, so it's been just much different from all my camps uh, since, like you know, twenty twenty since I've been with uh, with uh, Canelo camp. So it, it's my focus, it's my my commitment, um, it's just everything that uh, that you should be doing as a fighter. So it's much different now. Um, with Derek, you know, again, great trainer, uh, and you know, he's been uh, we've been working on a lot of great things and. This is the sharpest I've been since 2020, since when you see me knocking out people, you know, left and right. So you're going to see you're going to see something special because, man, I, I'm just so excited. I, I can't wait for you guys to watch this. I really can't. You know, I've, I've seen the videos of you work out. Uh, I've seen the videos of you under the tutelage of Derek James. It looked like there's been a lot of teaching going on. What's been the biggest thing that you think that Derrick James has been able to add to Ryan Garcia's bag? Uh, it's everything, everything, you know, um, from footwork to, you know, just philosophy and, and things like that. Uh, Derek's, you know, he's one of the trainers that um, he don't he don't let you let up, you know, can't let up uh, on any day, no matter if you had a good day. Uh, you know, he always reminds you, like, you know, can't get too happy, can't get too relaxed. So, uh, for me, just having that constant reminder of just not compromising any day, just make sure that we, we you know, put the foot on people's necks and, you know, put that put that uh, that foot on full throttle. You know, we're not playing games. Like, it's, it's just a different mentality right now. It's really mentality. It's really just me being me, but but just ten times better. Like, I I, I tell you, I I haven't felt this way in so long. It's just gonna be. It's gonna be magical. I'm telling you, it's gonna be magical when you see see me fight again. You're gonna see, you're gonna just you're gonna see. I, I mean, there's so much I want to say, but uh, we'll have to save that energy for December. Is that part of being with Derek James? Derek James not really a huge talker. Uh, has he kind of rubbed off on you in that way? I know Derek, Derek talks. He just don't talk to you guys. <laughs> he talks. To, he talks all the time. He's funny, man. He's a good character good person to be around with. Um, it's always doing things for charity and foundations and things like that. So, you know, being around that is cool too. Um, so we, he took me to go talk to some kids. Um, that was nice. That was refreshing. And just being in Dallas, really being in Dallas is really what has helped me. You know, I, 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 all I've been doing is boxing, um, training and, and going to church, really. Those are the two things I've been doing um, out here. And, um, you know, it, it, it feels good to be committed again and, and just love boxing again. 
um, in a different way, you know, as a competitor, as a guy that's hungry, you know, I like this position. Like I, I'm, I love this position right now. I'm going to, I just know, I just know that something good is coming out of, you know, what happened last time around, like something great is going to happen. You know, when we start talking about a person who loves the sport and has dedicated themselves to the sport, uh, a lot of boxing heads around would mention Oscar Duarte in mm -hmm. that, in that, uh, in that same sentence. I don't uh, know what he, I, I don't know nothing about him. I don't, I don't know if he trains hard. I, I mean, we're all supposed to train hard. We're all supposed to do our job, but I mean, you know, we're all got to be focused, but there, there's a difference here. He's going to be different. I, I, I'm, way more experienced than him I have way more tools than him you know he, he don't have a lot of options with me so um I'm gonna know what's coming at me and he's not gonna know what's coming at him it's just simple you know Oscar is gonna come and try to fight and try to make it a, a, a tough fight but I mean how, how tough can you be when you keep getting punched in the face you know you can't be that tough you know so I expect him to bring a hard fight but I don't expect him to um I don't see him to win any rounds. I don't see him winning any rounds. I don't see him even really, you know, doing damage. Anything can happen in boxing. But as sharp as I am right now, I just don't see it happening. So is it is it safe to say that Ryan Garcia looks to come back in a big way on December? Oh, in a huge way. In a huge way. In a huge way. Mark my words, in a huge way. This is gonna be, this is gonna be what you guys are looking for. That loss woke something else up. And, and, and yeah, it's the worst thing that happened is to all the other opponents is that I lost. That's the worst thing that happened. And, and man, I'm telling you, I'm coming, I'm coming back. You're going to make a movie out of this. I'm going to make a movie out of this. I promise. I'm going to make a movie. Like, shit. Like, this dude just lost, but then comes back and just takes over the game. I'm telling you, I'm sharp right now. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Fast. You're going to see something special. I promise you, man. Special. Be there. I'm telling you, just – Watch this fight. Watch this fight. Not because of Duarte. Duarte is tough, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an example. It's going to be an example of what's to come. Mark my words. It's going to be an example of what's to come. This is I'm, I'm dead serious right now. I've never been this committed since 2020. I didn't even care about boxing because I went through my shit, and I started going backwards, and I just lost everything, whole concentration. But something about me losing just woke me up. I'm like, okay, all right. Let me, let me think, let me think about what's going on. I had to cut a lot of stuff off in my life. I, I, I just had to know what you, you know, how you have to do this. You know, you can't disrespect the game. But now I'm, I'm back on track and I'm on fire. So December 2nd, I'm going to make it an example. It ain't about Duarte. It ain't about my comeback. not about nothing of that. It's about Ryan Garcia is making an example of, of who I am. You're going to see who I am. I don't care about the critics. I don't care about what you think about my last fight. I don't care that I got dropped. I don't care that I got stopped. But I don't care about none of that. You're going to see who Ryan Garcia is. Make any comment you want. I'm coming after it. I got everything on lock right now. Whatever you have it, folks. Young Rye, Super Rye, Ryan Garcia, yeah. King Rye, whatever you want to call him. There he is in the flesh. I might change my name to Super Rye. Toyota. I like that. Super Rye. I like Super. I like super Ryan. I kind of like that. Super, Super Ryan Garcia. That's kind of cool. Ryan Super Garcia. I, I used to always like love, I, right? I used to always love when Zab Judah was introduced, man. And Michael Buffer would go, Zab Super. Right? The way That's he hard. builds it up. I kind of like that. I like that a lot. Judah, man. Well, there you go. I'll be All the right. first one to say it. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV, with my guy, Super Rye, Ryan Garcia, December 2nd, Toyota Center, Texas, Houston, Texas. Ryan Garcia be in the house, sell it out. Golden Board Promotions. Ryan, I'd like to thank you guys for your time. We'll see you guys on the backside, brother. Take care. Let's go.